today I'm at Rossfield Farm to have a look at uh, Stuart Barber's collection of MF tractors. Now here we have a Massey Ferguson 399. It's uh, been uh, getting new pistons and liners, I think it is, among other things. So it'll be getting done up uh, with Stuart sometime in the near future, possibly. I can't really get in there to see the number, but it's Kilo, Kilo Victor Foxtrot 157 Papa. It's one that's been restored, and actually Stuart just bought this one quite recently. It's a uh, Massey Ferguson 185 multi-power. That must probably been the original dealer where it came from. I quite like the name, just don't... It just hasn't got a T in it. This is one of the tractors with the flexi cab. Many years ago, I used to drive one of these uh, at Tinwell Parks. We actually got two together WSM 993J and WSM 992J. Two tractors arrived on the same day at Tinwell Parks, and uh, that's a long time ago. The Grey Fergie, I. Right. What kind? Well, we call it the P3. P3, yeah. It'd probably be a straight petrol, Fergie, like 1948, 47. Right. And then Perkins did an engine conversion, and a lot of people put the P3 kind of three cylinder. It's just like a 35, but it's slightly different. Uh huh. Um, this is Stuart, his working clothes with That's it. his uh, dirty hands and whatever aye, else. Aye, aye. So it's very interesting on in the other shed. I've got my light. Aye. So it was because the, the guy was saying that somebody else came, but it was, it was quite dark in there and I really aye, couldn't see very much. Somebody else tried to video in there. some packing machines and tractors in day, but oh, right. it was, uh, didn't pick up very well. Right. Aye. This is just my new camera, so it's mm. quite pleased with it anyway. Aye. Right, I want you to push on. The process of getting restored. Uh, we'll just leave the, the sheets on that one. We'll yeah, come aye. back and see it another day. The rest, there's quite a few in there. Uh -huh. I'll look at it. I started counting them, but I lost. Can you look at one, then you go back to another, then you aye. then you lose count? Right. Ah, so this is, so this is a spare store, is it? Up aye. here. Spare bonnets, bits of wings. Aye. Never throw anything away. You never know, you might need a wee. Part for something. That's right, aye. aye. But it's still nice and tidy, Ken. It's not just like it's well, thrown all over the place. There is bits. Gets... Probably the best it, it can be under a situation, aye. Aye, aye. When you're in the workshop using things, stuff gets ratched through. Right, I'll let you away for your lunch. Aye. Cheers. Uh, it's Stuart's way for a well learned bite to uh, keep on going until God knows when. So I'm going to take some of these. Uh, Covers off just to let you see the tractors when I'm here. Another shed. There's 14 tractors in here. I've had a count up. Uh, quite a few have covers over. I've taken some of the covers off, but not all of them. So here we start off with a MF uh, 35. It's all nicely painted, refurbished, done up, whatever you want to call it. Under here we have a 65, so I'm told. Well, it will be a 65 because you can see the wheels, definitely 65 wheels. Uh, I remember driving a 65 in my lifetime. MF35. The Ferguson system relates to the hydraulics here. So it's got the Ferguson uh, drawbar here. Fixed, I think you call it. And the tractor 6450SM is the number. So it's not easy videoing in here, but uh, do the best I can. Now here is a lovely machine here. It's what they call the gold Massey Ferguson. All nicely restored again. So 
So probably sometime uh, on another date, when, when all the tractors are out, uh, I'll come back in video. Sometimes we have a, because Stuart has a farmer's round to see them and they're all parked out in the yard. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. Fergus and 35. Can't really see this one's number. <coughs> then we move on to a Matthew Ferguson 135. All nicely painted again. And another 135 at the back there. This one here, a Grey Fergie, GSM 598. I don't know what that is. No idea. Well, it's just hard to remember what tractor you filmed. You just, uh, as I go along. Thirty-one or three eleven on the tax disc there. It's a one three five. It has the round wings. Well, so has this one actually. I think the, later on they went to square. I'm sure they did. And here we have the, the pulley system for driving the, the belts on the circular saw here. I'll just catch this uh, tractor from here. No number plate, so it's a flexi cab. I'll just check what it is just in a second. Right, all will be revealed. I think oh, it's a Massey 165. Just put the colour back on. <laughs> uh, that's uh, got grey mud guards on a red body. But uh, I'm sure they'll be getting changed at some stage. Now here we have a cabin for this grey tractor, I would imagine. It's uh, not sure what kind it is. But, uh, <laughs> not a very big window anyway, at the top. Now here we have a 168 multi-power on a Perkins A4 uh, 236 engine possibly. Uh, a 65, it's been split, so it'll be put back together again. 135 multi power. I can't see any number on this one. Oh, I can't, just about. It's a Charlie Sierra Mike, 158 kilo. And that's a 168 multi power. 135 multi power. It's obviously getting done up again. 593 this one. Ferguson again with uh, the gold engine. Not as good of condition as the one across the way there. Well here we have a mongrel. <laughs> a David Brown 30C on a Papa Sierra Mike uh, 464 number plate. And it's... Uh, Probably the first one I've ever seen of these, to be honest. Uh, it's got a great cab in there. So it has. Don't know why this one's here. I need to ask Stuart. There will be a reason, but what? I don't know. Very handy for the battery there on the side. Oh, another David Brown in the back there. I can't get through to you. You actually see what it is, but uh, mm, no idea. And here we have another 135 with the wing mirror, wing mirror here. Well, it's been a very interesting afternoon, morning, whatever, looking round Stuart's collection. And this one's on a 
So it's, uh, I think I've still another shed to go actually. But I better put all these covers back on. So that just shows you that. Taking a few shots with my, my old camera, camcorder, to see the difference, if there's any. Take some photographs as well. So I'm now in the last shed, it's uh, just three tractors in here, it's a, a 362-1212 transmission. Then we have a 342 uh, low profile, you can see the difference between the, the two tractors. Well, maybe that's a low profile as well, I'm not sure. And here we have a 390 18 speed shift with the twin wheels that's been sown grass seed just recently. Quite unusual, we've got the front mud guards for a two wheel drive tractor. November 655 Echo Sierra Whiskey, that one. That's 390. Mike 192 Sierra Alpha Oscar, this one. And that's a 342. And the 362 at the end here. Lima 315 Victor November Hotel. All very tidy. All the glasses uh, intact. So hope to come back uh, once I have the potato store in operation and see it working.